Hey guys, YouTube Mark Hunter here. Alright, and now we're um, with a, another uh, TV Halloween special review. Alright, and now here I am with a review for Halloween is Grinch Night. So, um, yeah, this is a special that I really don't hear anybody talking about ever. <laughs> yeah, this is a special that just sort of seemed to um, come and go, and yeah, nobody ever really talked about it, so I guess this special really didn't leave that big of an impact, but after, like, hearing, like, Nostalgia Critic, like, talking about it, like, I remember, like, Nostalgia Critic, like, talked about uh, this uh, special on his uh, top 11 nostalgic mindfucks list, so yeah, after hearing about what he had to say about it, I decided to check this special out, and, um, yeah, this is just a really, really strange special. I mean, yeah, it's just, yeah, Nostalgia Critic really said it best. I mean, this plot really doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, it is just, a, like, a really weird story, and it's yeah, just a very bizarre type of special. So, yeah, the special uh, came out in uh, 1977, and, yeah, this was, like, one of the, like, the first, uh, sort of, like, Grinch spin-off special to be made. Yeah, after, like, the success of the original animated uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, it did end up, like, uh, spawning some spin-offs like this. Like, this one, Grinch Night, and then it also, like, uh, spawned, um, the Grinch Grinches the Cat in the Hat. So, um, yeah, so... Yeah, I guess, like, with as big of an impact that that, uh, the, uh, Animated Grinch had uh, uh, left, <laughs> like, uh, spawned some spinoffs like this. Well, so, yeah, I really don't think that really any of these spinoffs really did, like, really succeed that well. well. At least when it comes to, like, compared to the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's so, uh, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, this special, yeah, like I said, it just, just, uh, very, very strange special, because what this is about is, like, in Who Will, like, this is, there's, like, this night called the Grinch Night, which has, like, some sort of, like, special wind that is known as the Sour Sweet Wind blowing, and, and, yeah, it has, like, like, a chain of events going on, on which has, like, the, uh, the, uh, Greed Grumps and Hacking Cracks, having the Grinch uh, terrorize the Who's, and so, yeah, then the Grinch ends up, like, coming down to Whoville to try to, um, just to uh, terrorize the Who's, and, yeah, in the special, like, there's this, uh, uh, boy, Eukariah, who's, was, like, trying to, um, um, stop the Grinch from coming, and so he just does it to try to, um, stop the Grinch from, um, coming down to Whoville, to just try to, um, stall him, him to slow him down, and then, yeah, he just, like, tries to get the Grinch to, um, get, try to, um, scare him, but, yeah, the Grinch, like, wasn't really, like, buying it, but then, after, then, all, after all the persistence, then the Grinch ends up, like, uh, tricking, uh, Ukariah into, uh, becoming in a trance in the, uh, paraphernalia wagon that the Grinch is bringing down to Whoville. So, yeah, and of course, like Nostalgia Creek talked about, it, just that whole, um, paraphernalia wagon sequence it is just so freaking weird and creepy and just, oh, man, I mean, just, yeah, it really is just a nostalgic mindfuck. Yeah. Yeah, you just have, like, all this, like, weird imagery you know, around you, Karaya. Yeah, yeah, and then... And yeah, and then eventually, like, Yukari, like, just ends up, like, uh, just coping with all this, um, uh, surrealness and just all this, like, crap going on in the paraphernalia wagon, which causes the uh, sour sweet wind to die down. And yeah, then, yeah, Yukari did his job, and then it just made the Grinch, like, go uh, back up to Mount Crumpet. So, yeah, it is, like, a really, really bizarre special. I mean, yeah, this, like, on Wikipedia, it says that this special is actually, like, a, um, a prequel to uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, though there's a, not, I don't remember actually hearing anything at all in this special that actually does acknowledge that it is a prequel to um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, so yeah, I don't know if that actually is true or not, I don't know if it is a um, uh, prequel, if it's just like a spinoff, 
it, well, it is a spinoff, but if it, like, does take place, like, sometime after, or what is going on, but, yeah, regardless, yeah, it is just a very strange special thing, <laughs> yeah, I can also kind of get annoying at times with, like, the narration stuff, because it shows, like, there's one point where Yukariah is, uh, talking to his family, and it has just the narrator always saying, then Yukariah said, then, and Grandpa... Josiah said, and Eucariah said, just like for every single thing that they say, the narrator's always saying, then Eucariah said, and yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I don't really know what I can really um say about this special. I mean, it is just a very, very bizarre. I mean, though I guess like coming from like, it, since like this is like Dr. Seuss base, I guess like that could be expected, so I'm not really too sure what to say here, or what to really think of it, in terms of whether or not saying that it is, it is worth a watch. I mean, it definitely is not not as good as How the Grinch Stole Christmas by a long shot, not at all. Well, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're looking for, like, something, like, wacky and creepy like this with the Grinch, I don't know. I think you could probably get some enjoyment out of it. I don't really know. Oh, like, what people would really think about this. So, oh, yeah, because, yeah, and going back to what I said about, like, the prequel stuff, there's some things about this that I really do question, particularly at the end, because at the end of the special, of course, like, the Grinch does uh, bring uh, Max down to Hoover with him to, like, pull the uh, Garfinelli wagon, but then, yeah, at the end of the special, when Eucariah, like, goes back home to Hooville, no, Max, Max just, like, decides that he's done with the Grinch because he's tired of, like, the Grinch treating him the way he does, and the, Max decides to go home with Eucariah. So, yeah, that's something can, that kind of, like, has me puzzled. Like, if this is a prequel and Max actually does go home to Hoover with Eucariah, like, how did the Grinch get uh, Max back? I mean, did the Grinch just come back and take Max back up to Mount Crevet with him? Yeah, so, yeah, it's a very, very um strange type of special, so... Now, I'm not sure where it stands or what I can really, like, say about this. I mean, yeah, the Grinch voice is also, like, not as good in this one as it was with Boris Karloff in the uh, original How the Grinch Stole Christmas animated special. Yeah, in this one, like, the Grinch is voiced by Hans Conry. And, um, yeah, it's just uh, not as good as uh, Boris Karloff does it. So, yeah, that's kind of a drawback to it as well. But, yeah... In this special, you do have, like, uh, quite the number of, like, uh, actors in this, uh, in this, well, voice actors in the special. You do, of course, have, a uh, Mel Blanc and, uh, Paul Freeze, who, like, voice some various monsters in the special, and it's funny, of course, like, Mel Blanc was the voice of the, uh, the original voice of a lot of the Looney Tunes characters, and Paul Freeze voiced Luke Von Drake, and, and both of them were also, like, the original two voice actors for Toucan Sam. Yeah, Mel Blink was the original, and then Paul Freese took over, so yeah, that's interesting. And you do also have a thorough Ravenscroft back uh, to um, um, provide some singing vocals for the songs in this, so yeah, I guess that was pretty cool that they were able to get um, Thorough Ravenscroft to come back to sing the songs. Of course, like, Thorough Ravenscroft was the original singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, so I guess it's cool that they were able to get him back, so yeah. But yeah, as far as, like, how this special is, uh, I, I just really don't know. I mean, it really didn't really leave a big of an impact, and, yeah, even the reaction at the time, I mean, and if it's, I'm really just, uh, yeah, the the reaction at the time really just didn't seem very good. I guess, like, it really didn't leave that big of an impact, so I guess that probably is, like, one of the reasons why people really don't talk about it today. So, yeah, so I really don't know whether or not to really recommend this or not. Uh, because, yeah, if you're, like, a really huge fan of, like, the original Grinch story, like I am, uh, I really don't know if, like, this would really, like, sway you, and it really would make you feel the same way about it, because it's not Christmas-related. It really is just, like, another, like, type of spinoff Grinch story, as I said. So, so, I'm really not sure if, like, you really will enjoy this if you actually do like the Grinch, so... I really don't know. Yeah, I would probably say that probably The Grinch Grinch is the Cat in the Hat is probably worth tracking down more than this one is, yeah. Because I haven't really, like, seen The Grinch Grinch is the Cat in the Hat, but given that it is really a crossover between, like, two of the biggest Dr. Seuss characters ever, 
ever, and I heard what Nostalgia Critic has said about it. It does seem like it, it is, like, interesting and it is worth a watch, so, I don't know. I may, like, uh, try to find The Grinch Creatures of the Cat in the Hat sometime and watch that and see how that is. Yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, personally, due to it being, like, a crossover between, like, The Grinch and the, ga- the Cat in the Hat, I would probably say that that's worth tracking down more than this, so, yeah. So... Now, quite honestly, I really don't know what else to really say about it, because there's really not really much to say. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I guess, like, if the only way I would really recommend it is, like, if you really do are into this kind of stuff, if you really are into just, like, like really weird, surreal imagery, I think this way, like, like, uh, sway you, and I think this might be, like, your type of special. If you like stuff like, uh, the pink elephant moments from, uh, Dumbo, and, uh, the stuff like, uh, Beavis and Butthead to America, and, yeah, a lot of the stuff that Nostalgia Critic really did put in that, uh, Top 11 Nostalgic Mindflex list. Yeah, if you're into, like, stuff like that, I think this may be for you, but, I don't know, I can't really make any guarantees, so, yeah, so... As far as when it, as it comes to recommendations, I really don't know what to say if you really would enjoy it or not. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I really can't really decide whether or not to recommend it. So, yeah, I just, yeah, so that's really the best way I can put it. So, yeah, so, yeah, the animation also isn't really nearly as good as the original either. So, yeah, yeah, so I... Yeah, it's just all over the place, really. I really don't know what to say. I mean, it's not really meant, really, like, my type of special, but, yeah, if you like the Grinch and you're into the stuff, maybe you could get some enjoyment out of it, but I don't really know. I can't really make any guarantees about it. So, really, I guess that's all I can really say about it. So, yeah, okay, so I guess this is it for my review of Halloween is Grinch Night. I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about it. I know this was kind of a shorter review, but really there isn't a whole to really say about it just yeah the, what i said about it is really just the best way i can put it so yeah all right but but for what how this review was and what i did go over about it i hope you guys did enjoy what i had to say about it so yeah so thanks for watching this uh review and yeah i'll probably have a, a review for terminator 2 up sometime later tonight so stay tuned for that coming up all right but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later